Good afternoon. This is your News for Now update. I'm Kay Ingram, and we're following two wild breaking stories out of Brooklyn and Queens. Let's start in Queens. That's where an MTA bus was hijacked. Police tell us a man approached a driver on that bus with a fake gun, telling him to open the door at 199th and Linden in Cambria Heights. He ordered him to drive, and as they approached 232nd and Linden, the bus driver jumped out of the window. The suspect drove the bus several blocks and eventually crashed into a utility pole near 234th and Linden. The driver was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Police arrested the gunman, and we've also learned at the time of the hijacking that seven passengers were on board. We're gathering more information and we'll have the latest on our website and app. Now to that breaking news in Brooklyn. Police say two men were shot while inside a Brownsville restaurant that was under renovation. One of those men was killed. It happened around 9 this morning at a spot on Strauss and Lot Avenue. Here you're looking at surveillance video of that shooting that we just got into the newsroom. News for us, Paisy Chang is there with an update. Well, the shooting happened just before 9 o'clock this morning at 2315 Strauss Street right here. This used to be Miguel's restaurant. It has since been closed while this whole building is under renovation. And from what we're being told is two males walked into this building that's under renovation. And then a minute later or so, two males followed them. And that's when the shooting began. We don't know what caused the shooting, but we do know that a male 46 was shot multiple times. He was taken to Brookdale Hospital where he died and a 45 year old male was also shot multiple times taken to Kings County Hospital and at this point he is not likely to die. The suspects are described as two males and they fled in a dark SUV. We're told this was uh, a lot of bullets were fired. 17 shell casings found in the entire front glass door has been shot out as well and uh, investigators are still here on scene. Detectives are canvassing the neighborhood looking for witnesses as well as any security security video. That's the latest from Brownsville, Brooklyn. Paisy Chang, News 4 New York. All right, Paisy, thanks for the latest there. Today, workers at a Brooklyn Trader Joe's will finish voting on a union drive. Then their ballots will be counted. Voting started yesterday for the store in Williamsburg. Organizers say they're fighting for a fair wage, more paid time off, and improved working conditions. The supermarket on Kent Avenue could become the first Trader Joe's in our area to unionize. So far, no comment from the company. President Biden is heading upstate to Syracuse to unveil an investment under his CHIPS Act. He recently made a similar announcement at IBM in Poughkeepsie, as you see here. The president will visit Micron Industries this afternoon. They're pledging to spend $100 billion over the next two decades to build factories to make semiconductors. The White House says Micron will create thousands of good-paying jobs. The New York City Council will vote today on a plan to help rid the city's streets of rodents. This comes after Mayor Adams laid out a set of new rules for leaving trash outside. The change would keep garbage curbside for a shorter period of time. The mayor says that'll help tackle the rat infestation problem and that he wants a new policies in place by April 1st. Happening today, the MTA is celebrating the 118th anniversary of the New York City subway. The agency has several events planned at the Transit Museum, commemorating its storied start. The museum is launching a new interactive collections database. It'll feature more than 14,000 images and objects from the museum's collections. These are some of those images. The museum will host an online virtual tour of the 28 stations along the first subway line in 1904, and the online virtual tour kicks off tonight at 6. And here's a look at your weather picture as we head through the afternoon. Sunny skies, cooler temperatures, finally here in drier air. That's going to be the uh, run of things until we get to Halloween, unfortunately. And there's a little bit of a scare in the forecast. We are going to see some moisture begin to seep in. As we take a look at the hour by hour, it's just gorgeous. It's going to be a chilly night tonight. We'll wake up with cool temperatures tomorrow, but another beautiful autumn day. So we'll net out at 44 in the city, but sub freezing as we head up to the north and West 31 in Monticello, 36 in Poughkeepsie, 41 in Eastport, and again the temperatures in the 40s up and down the shore. Cooler tomorrow, only 57 is a high, but lots of sunshine out there. Tonight's low, 44 degrees, north winds to 10 miles per hour. Bring that jacket, and we'll see sunrise tomorrow at 7:21. Tomorrow's forecast high, as we mentioned, 57. The nice run takes us through the weekend. Some showers as we head into Monday, and that is a look at your forecast.